Hello, hello. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, everybody, too. Good evening, everybody. It's a pleasure to have you here again. Thank you, teacher. Hello, how was your day? Was it a nice day, a hard day, a busy day? It was a kind of busy day. It's a busy day. And it's a busy day. You are still on the oh, you are still on the on the construction site. Yes, but I'm I'm most of the time inside of the office. Ah, okay. Yeah, because I mean you have to be controlling everything. I mean you are the head of the project. <laughs> <laughs> if if anything goes wrong, <laughs> then ingeniero. <laughs> and if everything goes well, yeah. <laughs> everything is on you, right? But, but there are many engineers here. Really? Yes, definitely, because the project is very, it's very big. big. It's big. It's so nice. Well, at least you feel supported, right? You feel kind of imagine if you are alone, <laughs> all, the, <laughs> all the things on your shoulders. Well, but that's I'm crazy. <laughs> yeah, you get crazy with all the workers and all the things and everything. I oh, know. Well, but that's that's good that you feel supported and that you have people there helping you a lot. Thank you. Thank you, my dear Jorge. Okay, Diana, I got your message. Good. Don't worry. Hello, Ana Raquel. Hello, Wendy. Hello, Jonathan. Welcome. Hello. How is the weather in Santa Ana? Normal. It's normal. Normal. Not raining. Not no, raining. No raining. No raining. No cold. No. No hot. Okay, it's normal. Typical. Santa, Santa Ana. <laughs> typical Santa Ana weather. Yes. Okay. Very good. So very nice, excellent. Well, my dear students, today we are going to work a little bit on some listening. We are going to do a little bit of reading as well. And we are going to practice a little bit on a reported speech, right? We are going to practice reported speech. And um, we are going to cover like some exercises on it. Reported speech, you know, it is not like a very, very difficult topic, but it has, you have to be very careful, right? At the moment of working on it, because in some cases we get confused, right? We get confused and we use different forms or we just say the words exactly as they are, right? And that is not reporting because in, in this one, it's basically when you share something that someone said, Right? Imagine that the teacher says, hey, no class tomorrow. And you say, hey, the teacher said that there were no class, that there was no class tomorrow. Right? So, and that is when you are reporting, right? Estás como contando un tercero lo que está sucediendo, right? Or you say, um, I am going to my house right now. Hey, and the teacher, ah, she said she was going to her house right now. Okay? You are passing the message to another person. That it's the meaning of reported speech. And we are going to do some practices on it. And we're going to get to know the topic a little bit. And we're also going to practice, OK? So that is basically the topic of what we're going to be studying today. Today and tomorrow I, are going to be dedicated to reported speech. Yes? I don't understand that part, teacher. I want to. 
to do the homework 1.5 in the platform. And, you, and, and you will see, you will see that it is not really complicated. We are going to check on the homework as well, because the only thing that you have to do is to pass the sentence into uh, the past tense, right? Or if the sentence is, well, most of the sentences are in present and you just have to change one of the verbs. Let me open the platform to show it to you. So we can clear up that, we can clear up that part because I have seen you struggling there. And when you say it, when you see it, you will say, ah, it was only like that. <laughs> it was not that complicated. Okay. Sound, sounds easy, like you, you are saying. Yeah, but in some cases we complicate, we complicate a lot at the moment of transforming the sentences. And we add words that are not necessary. So I am going to show you right now. I'm going to share my screen. Just give me a second. Porque ya cuando la comparto y lo estoy cargando es así como, ay, me da pena. <laughs> y ya no carga. <laughs> so I am loading it before. And we are going to go to the homework. So we can clarify and we can work together. Okay. So it is right here. Okay. 1.5. Here it is. In this one, and I am going to show it to you. And it's right here. Okay, I am going to share my screen right now. So you can see it. It is. Okay, this is the homework 1.5. And in this one, I mean, after I explain the topic, you are going to go and you're going to say, ah, that was easy, right? It was easy. Here, for example, in the normal sentence, in the original sentence that you have right here, you have big online stores say trusted brands have a strong reputation, right? That is the original sentence, right? Big online stores say, right? And this is something that you have to pay attention to. Trusted brands have a strong reputation. And what you have to do here and what you have to change in this sentence, as you have here, present, you are going to pass it to past. And you say, big online stores sell, okay? And you change the present for the past. Trusted brands have a strong reputation. Here you have, present tense, and here you have past tense, okay? In this case, uh, we might say like, las grandes tiendas online dicen, las eh, marcas confiables tienen una gran reputación. And in this case, as you are reporting, you say, las grandes tiendas online dijeron, porque estamos reportando, estamos contando, right? Que las marcas reconocidas tenían una gran reputación. Okay. Aquí estamos pasando el dato a alguien más. ¿Qué dijeron las grandes tiendas online? Ah, they said that trusted bands had a strong reputation, right? Trusted bands had a strong reputation. Or you have the other form here. Big online stores said trusted brands have a strong reputation. But this is not really common because you are just transforming the first part, okay? In some cases, you have to transform the two sentences. Pero si solo transforman la primera y la segunda se les pasa, todavía se las toma como bueno. But I will, I will recommend both, right? Big online stores sell, trusted brands have a strong reputation, okay? The next one, let's analyze the next sentence. Especialists say, aquí ya tenemos el primer verbo que tenemos que ponerle atención. Specialists say, PayPal is more secure than debit cards. What is the second verb that we need to change? Si tenemos el primer verbo que vamos a cambiar, que es say, ¿cuál es el siguiente verbo que tendríamos que cambiar en este caso? Verb be, teacher. Good the evening. Verb to be. Hello, good evening. Is. Okay, so the sentence would be, specialists said, 
said, yes. said right? Said PayPal was, was more was. secure than debit cards. Yeah, teacher. And that, Así is, lo and that is the form va? of the second sentence, right? That will be the form of the second sentence. Especially said PayPal was more secure than debit cards. Okay? Teacher. Yes. Así lo hice yo y no me los agarraba. Copy paste y le cambié el verbo según el, 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 el speech. Uh -huh. Él no me lo agarraba. Y le el puso speech. el punto, todo. Y el speech, todo, todo. todo el, incluso, incluso, be a problem with the platform. It can be a problem with the platform. So incluso, let's, let's check. Uh -huh. Teacher, uh -huh. incluso, incluso eh, una de las reglas del speed, speed special. Uh -huh. Re reported speech. Eh, eh, yeah, thank you, teacher. Decía que eh, podíamos de alguna manera, pero no lo, lo hice también, pero como tenemos una, una plataforma que a veces ya está así, porque ahí decía que podíamos, de, en vez de decir, say, mention it. Mention, ajá. Mention, ajá. Y, 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 y ya el verbo be, el, el otro verbo, eh, ya siempre cambiaba. ¿no? Exacto. Eh, igual, también le decía una regla que podíamos escribir, Dan, la palabra Dan, uh -huh. mencionar Dan, qué? That. Pero ni aún así no me la agarraba, ni una de todas. Ok, vamos a probar con estas dos. Vamos a probar con estas dos que ya hicimos. A usted sí, mire. <risa> Tal vez me voy a volver a salir y lo voy a, lo voy yes. a meter porque yo solo le daba copy paste ¿verdad? y le cambiaba lo justo lo que usted le está cambiando. Es y que no, a veces... Ya... A veces la plataforma, como que si la de cada persona falla, que sí. ya nos ha pasado. Yes. Como que si la falla no es, en, en, aquí, no es como en general. Aquí lo que tenemos que tener un montón de cuidado son los sí, espacios. Los, puntos. los, los espacios, espacios y los puntos. puntos. Porque a veces quizás en lo que cambiamos una palabra, dejamos un Correcto. espacio. Entonces Correcto. ahí es donde la plataforma no nos reconoce. Entonces Me tenemos revisando todo y no me agarró nada, pero espero que sí me los tenemos que tener, ahí, Tenemos que tener un gran cuidado. Yo ya había entendido eso con el speech, speech pero no. Ya se, se lo pueden copiar teacher. todos y se lo, puede, se lo puede ir pasando. Ok. Thank you. So, let's work on the third one, right? Hagamos la tercera para que estemos todos ahí eh, en, en línea. Sincronizados. Sincronizados, sí. right? A friend says... Offers that are too good to be truth may be a scam. Okay, in this case, what are we going to change? Says. Says, says and? Yes. E, 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 verbo e, are. Or. Are, where? because in this case, we are going where? to use where, where? right? Where? A friend says offers that were too good, said in this case, that yes. offers that yes. were too good to be true might be a scam. Okay, so that is one uh, sentence. And in this one- I don't one, understand, teacher. Okay, I am going to explain you the topic a little bit more. I am just explaining okay. a little bit on the exercise. Tengo yes, toda una explicación teacher. del tema, no se preocupe. Y, y para hoy, esta clase. En esta clase lo vamos a ver, sí. Teacher, but, all, but always is uh, change the verb to the past. To the past, in most of the cases, yes. yes. Because, okay. La mayoría de casos, en la mayoría de casos, si está la oración en presente, la pasamos a pasado. Si está mm -hmm. en presente continuo, la pasamos a pasado continuo. Si está en presente perfecto, es pasado perfecto. O sea, todo va a ir al pasado. ¿Por qué? Mm -hmm. Porque estamos reportando algo que alguien ya dijo. ¿Okay? Mm -hmm. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos pasando el dato a alguien más. Como lo que les decía, por ejemplo, al principio de la clase, que yo les digo ahorita, no class tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Y viene, yeah. hello, <laughs> yeah, this. Y entonces right. viene, so, viene alguien y que no estaba en clase y dice, ¿qué dijo la clase? The teacher said that there was no class tomorrow, right? The teacher said there was no class tomorrow. Yes. Because you are reporting, ok, ahí estamos pasando el reporte, ok. Es como cuando su mamá le dice, tres tomates, ¿y qué te dijo mi mamá? Ah, me dijo que tenía que comprar tres tomates. Uh -huh. Y ahí ya lo pasamos a pasado porque ya tenía que comprar tres tomates. Entonces, ese es, ese es el reported speech. Es cuando reportamos o cuando hablamos de algo que alguien ya nos dijo y lo estamos pasando el dato a alguien más. Ok. So, 
in this case, alguien, Pedrito Perez, dijo, a friend says, offers that are too good to be true might be a scam. It's like, ¿y qué dijo, qué dijo Pedrito? Ah, Pedrito said, offers that were too good to be true might be a scam. Okay, you are reporting what Pedrito said in this case. So uh, let's check here. Let's check on the next answer, right? I will show you the next answer, that it's this one. A friend said, right here, a friend, a friend said, okay. offers that were too good to be true might be a scam, okay? This is exactly what we were just reporting. The next one says, a blogger says, right? Mobile phone networks are more secure than public Wi-Fi. Okay, aquí lo primero que tienen que identificar son los verbos. ¿Qué verbos yes. tienen en las oraciones? El primero que tenemos aquí es says. Y el says. otro es are. are. Okay, a blogger. ¿Cuál es el, vamos a verlo por parte. ¿Cuál es el pasado de say? Said. Said. ¿Cuál es el pasado de are? Where. Where, right? A blogger said mm -hmm. mobile mm -hmm. networks were more secure yes. than public wife okay so in this case you are reporting what the person said y que dijo el blogger ah and say a blogger said mobile phone networks were more secure than public wife ah, okay bien. because you know the chambre now <laughs> now the number five here Consumers report, consumers report, deals are often hidden in web pages. What are the verbs that we have here? Report. 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 ¿Y cuál es el otro? Yes. Where. Where are. Are. <laughs> are. Mm -hmm. Okay. ¿Cómo lo pasaríamos a pasado? Reported. No, no, Consum toda, toda la oración. Consumer reported. Deals were often hiding in web page. Hidden. Page. Page. Hidden. Web pages. Page. Okay. ¿Qué reportaron los consumidores? Y ella me dice, ah, teacher, consumers reported deals were often hidden in web pages. Ah, okay, I would say. Okay. And there you have the last sentence here. Consumers reported deals were often hidden in web pages. Okay. In this case, remember that when you create the reported speech, you don't use the quotations. Okay. Eso es algo importante. Las quotes no las va a copiar porque ella no las lleva. En el reported speech ya no lleva las quotations. ¿Para qué le ponen las comillas a esta oración? ¿Cuál creen ustedes que es la finalidad de las comillas en esa oración? ¿Cómo, eh, cómo identificar? Ajá. Because that's the message. The message. Tin, tin, tin. There you go. Because that's the message, right? Because that's the message. Eso es lo que dijeron los consumidores. Eso es el mensaje que se dijo. ¿Ok? Consumers report. Okay. ¿Qué reportan los consumidores? Deals are often hidden in web pages. Y eso es lo que dijo el consumidor. Okay. Cuando ustedes lo pasan al reported speech, ya no lleva las quotations porque ustedes lo están diciendo, ya no lo está diciendo el consumidor. Okay. So that is something important. In the reported speech, you don't use quotations. Okay. Consumers reported deals were often hidden in web pages. And that is the process that you follow. Okay. So in this case, I am going to copy the sentences. I am going to send them to you. And for sure, uh, you are going to try to copy them on your platform to see if they work, okay? Make sure that you are not uh, adding extra spaces, that you are not adding extra periods, right? Or anything. Just- Teacher? Yes? I'm sorry. Yep. Acabo, acabo. Eh, de verificar uno de mis errores que tenía, uh -huh. observé todos los detalles que daban ahí uh -huh. pero olvidé algo, quitarle las quotation marks 
Por eso no eso, me lo ese, ese era el punto que les estaba explicando ahorita. ¿Qué? Es correcto, no vamos pero, a copiar las quotations. Aquí está. Sí, aquí está. Lo único que, que me, me, de alguna manera me confundía porque habría, habría la, el libro de, de texto, habría la, yeah. y por ahí. Pero tiene razón, Pixel. Ajá, ok. Entonces, por ahí y ahí creo que no va a haber problema. Thank exactly you. Like that. you see? Por eso me gusta a mí detenerme, que lo veamos, que lo hagamos todos, que lo vean cómo queda y de ahí ustedes lo pueden hacer ya. Sí, okay. ahorita tengo que estar revisando mi libro ya. And, and it is not it is not really complicated. You just have to pay attention to the verbs, right? You have to pay attention to the verbs in the sentences, okay? You have to be very careful with that. Okay? Let me just I am going to copy them right now and I am going to send them to your chat so you can copy them and you can paste them exactly as what we work right now, okay? Denme un segundito nada más, solo lo voy a copiar y pegar. Y se las envío a todos. Ya muchos creo que ya lo hicieron. ¿Ya lo habían hecho el ejercicio, chicos? ¿O no. ninguno lo había terminado? No. No yet. Okay. Some of them, okay. So I am going to send them to you. Don't worry. Here is Teacher Nati to the rescue. Teacher Nati al rescate de los niños. <laughs> Give me one second. I'm going to send you the say the five sentences. Okay. One, two. Okay. Meanwhile, you can tell me a little bit about what you're going to do on your day off. Hey, la otra semana tienen un día libre. My birthday. My birthday. Congratulations. Uh, yes. Congratulations. Yes, on September 15th. September 15th. September 15th. <laughs> yes. That's why I am going to give you. Me, September 22. Oh, really? How nice. Yes. You are Mine going is to... September 16th. September 16th. Wow. <laughs> we are, we are a lot of products from Christmas. <laughs> we can make a, a party. We can make a, a party. Virtual, virtual party. <laughs> we are going to make a virtual party to celebrate yeah. all the birthdays. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> yeah, you might, buy, a, lot of, a lot of people from September. Buy, buy cake. Yeah, I, wait, cake. I am going to send you the cake right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I love to send you the cake. Let me see. Let me find the cake. I will send you a donut, meanwhile. Para que empiecen, le voy a mandar una donut. <laughs> and then I'm going to send you a cake. There you go. <laughs> ya partido para que no peleen. Thank you. There you go. Okay, I am going to send you the sentences right now. I copy them already. And for sure, it is, no. Oh, let's see. Okay, for you to have them and for you to copy them as well. And meanwhile, I am going to share my screen for the PowerPoint presentation. Okay, my dear students, let's move this business. Okay. Here I am. Okay. Here we go. Okay, I need you to get your notebook, please, because you are going to use it right now. Right now, I am going to play a listening and you are going to take notes of what you listen, okay? You are going to take notes of what you listen. Later, I'm not going to ask you to report but you are going to tell me a little bit of what you remember from the listening. It is short, it is uh, very like easy, we might say, but uh, I need you to pay attention, okay? To pay attention to details. I am going to play it right now, and I need you please to 
take notes of what you remember, right? Take notes of what you remember and for sure, all the things that you consider important, okay? All the things that you consider important and for sure, all the things that you remember, okay? That is going to happen right now. I am going to ask you and please tell me if you can listen, okay? I am going to play it right now. Hi, young lady, how may I help you? Can you listen? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Yes. Hi, young lady, how may I help you? Well, yeah, I'm looking for a Father's Day gift. Okay, how about getting your father a new wallet? Hmm, how much is that wallet? Uh, which one? The black one. Oh, it's only forty ninety-five. Huh? That's too expensive for me. Do you have a cheaper one? Hmm, how about this brown leather one? Hmm, I don't think my father would like the design on the outside. And it doesn't have a place to put pictures. How much is it anyway? It's twenty five ninety nine. Hmm, I don't have that much money. Okay, how much money do you have to spend? I'm not sure. Probably about ten dollars or so. I've been helping my mom around the house for the past week to earn some money. This is all I have. Hmm, how about this tie? That's real pretty, but the price tag says thirteen ninety nine, and I know I don't have that much money. Well, let's just say the tie went on sale. How about five dollars? What do you say? Oh, thanks. I'll take it. Listen again. Hi, young lady. How may I help you? Well, yeah, I'm looking for a Father's Day gift. Okay, how about getting your father a new wallet? Hmm, how much is that wallet? Uh, which one? The black one. Oh, it's only forty ninety-five. Huh? That's too expensive for me. Do you have a cheaper one? Hmm, how about this brown leather one? Hmm, I don't think my father would like the design on the outside. And it doesn't have a place to put pictures. How much is it anyway? It's twenty five ninety nine. Hmm, I don't have that much money. Okay, how much money do you have to spend? I'm not sure. <laughs> Probably about ten dollars or so. I've been helping my mom around the house for the past week to earn some money. This is all I have. Hmm, how about this tie? That's real pretty, but the price tag says thirteen ninety nine, and I know I don't have that much money. Well, let's just say the tie went on sale. How about five dollars? What do you say? Oh, thanks. I'll take it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is the situation that it's going on? Yeah. Looking for a Father's Day gift. She's looking for a Father's Day gift. Uh huh. Yes, but the old prices are very expensive, or <laughs> because she doesn't have the enough money so she's only ten ten dollars okay she's only or she has only okay she has only she has she has only ten dollars okay and what are the different gifts that she's offered black uh, wallets and black wallet brown the brown one is the black one is forty five dollars. You are going to see the prices in a second. You are going to see the conversation. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay. Uh -huh. The prices are high. And yeah. tell me how uh, or or what else do you remember? Okay. I need I need you to to tell me like in detail. Did you take notes? What notes did you take? Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, the price and the kind of um, gift. Okay. Uh huh. The price and the kind the, of gift. The brown wallet is uh, twenty twenty five ninety nine dollars. Okay. <laughs> we, are, we are going to see the numbers. We are going to see the numbers. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. So, and in the end, what is she going to give to her father? The, a tie, the seller, a tie, the for a tie for five bucks. Uh -huh. five dollars. For five dollars. 
And uh, was it the real price of the tie? No, it, it isn't. It is said it was $13.99. $13. And she said, let's say that the that, that the tie went on sale. It says, like, I am going to do the favor to you. And I am going to give it to you in five dollars. Let okay. me plug my computer because it's dying. Okay. My goodness. Okay. I need a fire. I'm looking for a helmet for the cat. <laughs> <laughs> you need a helmet for the cat. <laughs> that that is that it's uh, that it's very famous right now. <laughs> I'm looking for a gift for, of my cat. <laughs> <laughs> for a Father's Day gift for my cat. Yeah. Okay, so I am going to share the conversation. Right? Can you look at it? It is kind of difficult because oh no, but it's it's good. I think you can you can see it. It yes, is different. Teacher. It is different when you actually read and listen. Yes, teacher. Porque vamos a ver. Levanta, levanta la mano si todos entendieron toda la perfección. Me mm -hmm. nothing. No, <laughs> nothing. Wendy, go on. Okay, Tatiana got everything. Perfect. Okay. Yes, teacher. Everything. No doubts. No, no, nothing. No difficult words. No, nothing. Okay, good. Okay, Diana, either. Okay, good. I need you to pay attention to the conversation, right? Listen to it, and I'm going to play it again. And I need you to read it while you listen. If we have difficulties in some cases to understand what is going on, it's always look. It's always good for you to look for the transcript of the audios, it is always important. As well for the music, with the music is also important, right? That you say like, hey, me gusta esa canción de, de Adele. Aha, uh -huh. but get the lyric, read the lyric. So you know what you are singing and you sing properly, right? No, andar invocando cosas a medianoche. <laughs> get the lyric it's very important right it's like hey ¿qué estás haciendo? Solo estaba practicando inglés. I'm sorry I got confused <laughs> so have you seen the meme of the devil ¿Ya han visto el, el meme de un diablito que aparece en el cuarto it's like me llamaste Yo, no solo estaba practicando inglés. <laughs> it is the same thing with this so please I need you to read while you listen Okay, pay attention. I'm going to play it again. And uh, I need you to read along, right? Follow the listen. Hi, young lady. How may I help you? Well, yeah, I'm looking for a Father's Day gift. Okay, how about getting your father a new wallet? Hmm, how much is that wallet? Uh, which one? The black one. Oh, it's only forty ninety-five. Huh? That's too expensive for me. Do you have a cheaper one? <laughs> Hmm, how about this brown leather one? Hmm, I don't think my father would like the design on the outside. And it doesn't have a place to put pictures. How much is it anyway? It's twenty-five ninety-nine. Hmm, I don't have that much money. Okay, how much money do you have to spend? I'm not sure. Probably about ten dollars or so. I've been helping my mom around the house for the past week to earn some money. This is all I have. Hmm, how about this tie? That's real pretty, but the price tag says thirteen ninety nine, and I know I don't have that much money. Well, let's just say the tie went on sale. How about five dollars? What do you say? Oh, thanks. I'll take it. Okay, so that's the, that's the idea, right? And it is fun when you read that you even listen that the audio is slower, right? No sé si le sucede que cuando ya lo van leyendo hasta el audio va como más despacio y va como, hey, I am understanding every single word, right? I know what, what they say. So this is the trick of the listenings. New words or new vocabulary that you have here? Manuel, no, no se nos vaya, por favor. No antes de terminar el módulo. <laughs> Aquí estoy, aquí estoy. No. <laughs> uh -huh. New words or new vocabulary? Teacher. 
teacher. Yep. Um, about this brown leather one. When you use, for example, uh, in this case, you are showing another option. Okay. Imagine okay. that you say, "Hey, I like," uh, and I have I have one here. And you say like, I like that uh, green necklace, right? And you have this one, right? And it's like, mm, but that is uh, $20. Hey, that's very expensive. What about uh, the blue one? And it says like, ah, this one, this one is $2. Ah, that's that's good, right? What about that blue, that blue one over there? Okay, you are choosing, you are showing another option for the person to get it. It's like, how about this brown one? Okay, I am showing you an option. How about this one? Like, te parece este? That's the sentence in that case. Okay. Like, how about? It's like, ¿qué tal? ¿Qué tal este? How about this one? How about this other? Right, you choose and you give options. Do you have a cheaper one? It's like, ¿tiene algo más barato? Do you have yes. a cheaper one? And it's like, uh, no, I don't have. And he says, how about this brown leather one? It's an option, right? Any other question? Hi. Questions? Lo, lo que me confunde es la respuesta de la niña. Oh. Eh, dice, oh, I, I think my father will like the design of the outside and he doesn't have a place to, to put pictures. How much is, is it anyway? How much is it anyway? Imagine that I have like, and now I have this beautiful brown box, right? I have this beautiful brown box here. So like, mm, I like the design on the outside, okay. but it doesn't have a place to put things on the inside, right? It's like, me gusta lo de afuera, pero lo de adentro, mm, no, right? How much is it anyway? ¿Cuánto vale? De todos modos, dígame el precio. Mm, How much okay. is it anyway? It's like, I am not going to buy it, but I want to know the price. When you yes. say, How much is it anyway? It's like, ah, al final, ¿cuánto vale? Okay. And you use it like that. And you say, It's $25.99. Mm, I don't have that much money. And she doesn't get it because she doesn't have money. She has only $10 because the tie was $13 and she couldn't get it because she only had $10. And he, she has spent at the end only $5. Okay, anyone else? Anything else, chicos, preguntas, dudas? No more questions? Eh, okay. Una respuesta, toda la respuesta ya le digo. Después de que le dicen, okay, how much money do you have to spend? Mm -hmm. Todo eso? No lo entiendo. I'm, I'm not sure. Yes, sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And this when it says money falling on the table, y está entre corchetes porque es el sonido. Y cae la, el sonido. Uh -huh. <laughs> money falling on the table. <laughs> <laughs> right? Hearing, hearing, hearing El Salvador, we say like, y mira, y de repente llegó y le hace push, push, push. And we are very expressive with that. So in this case, they are expressing the sound that you listen, right? Money falling on the table. Probably yeah. about $10 or so. It's like, más o menos, $10, right? I have been helping my mother around the house for the past week to earn some money. So she has been cleaning the house, washing the dishes, washing the clothes. And the mother was like, okay, one quarter, $1. Why she was offering money for the different things that she has been doing. Okay. So that's the idea of how she got the money. Okay. Y entendemos cómo obtuvo el dinero. And this is all I have. It's like, this is all I have. And she shows the money, right? Es todo lo que ando, todo lo que tengo. That's the phrase and that's the sentence. Okay. So okay. this was our little exercise, our little reading exercise for the day. And right now I am going to call the attendance, my dear students. So after this, we're going to go on the explanation of the report speech. 
and let me open my attendance. Okay, meanwhile, you can start reading here. I have here the definition. You can start reading, meanwhile. I'm going to call the attendance. Ana Raquel. Ana Raquel Villalta. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you very much. Carlos Antonio Escobar. Present. Thank you. Claudia Maria Melendez. Present. Diana Elizabeth. Here, teacher. Jorge Humberto. Present teacher. Jose Jonathan. Mr. Jose Jonathan. Veo a Jose Jonathan, pero no lo escucho. Okay, Jose Jonathan. Jose Rodrigo. Jose teacher. Juan Carlos Rivas. Juan Carlos, Juan Carlos. Juan de Dios. Juan de Dios, se me perdió, ¿no? Linda y Beth. Present, present teacher. Thank you. Manuel Antonio. Present teacher. María Concepción. Present. María Elena Guadalupe. María Elena. Yes. Okay. Eh, here we go. María Ernesto Villeda. Present teacher. Nelson Gavarrete. Present teacher. Thank you. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Olga Marleni. Present teacher. Silvia Suleima. Present teacher. Thank you. Tatiana Michelle. Present teacher. And Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Thank you. Olga Marleni, no le han resuelto todavía. No, teacher. Uh, ¿Y cuál es el problema que le da? ¿No le acepta el, el password o el correo? ¿Es no, el yo, en, yo puedo entrar a la plataforma, pero no me habilita el módulo 5. Ah, ok. Perfecto. Dice que para ver el módulo 5 tengo que estar inscrita. Ok. Y no, no puedo ver nada, solo los cursos anteriores. Ok. Entonces ahorita es que le voy a... Um, Ajá. Es que a mí así me pasaba, pero yo lo que hice es que ahí donde, donde dice que se debe de estar inscrito algo así, hay una, hay una parte en donde tiene que, como la primera vez, como que si... Eh, ay, ¿Cómo se llama eso? Como que si está deshabilitado, como que si nunca se ha inscrito uno. Entonces lo que hice es que copié esa cosa que dice ahí, lo que hicimos la primera vez y así me dejó entrar. Es como que si ha, dejado, ha pasado demasiado tiempo, entonces está como que si lo tiene que activar nuevamente. Así entendí yo, porque a mí igual me pasaba, no me dejaba, yo veía los cursos anteriores y tuve que hacerlo otra vez. Ok. Uh... Voy a intentar, muchas gracias. Vamos a intentar, si no igual eh, yo paso el reporte. Aquí queda grabado uh -huh. el reporte. Gracias. Thank you very much. Okay, my dear students, let's continue working then. So reported speech. We talk about this before and it's a, a tense that changes for sure to report what someone else said. And in this indirect speech or reported speech, it focuses a little bit more on the content of what someone said rather than the exact words, right? In indirect speech, the structure of the reported clause depends on whether the speaker is reporting a statement, a question, or a comment. In this case, the normal thing is that the speech 
is in one tense and then you change the time of it. Exactly what we were doing in the exercise at the beginning of the class. And it says, she said, I am tired. She said that she was tired, okay? You have the change in the tense. Here, in the morning, for example, did someone tell you anything before you leave? Platicaron con alguien en la mañana y le dijo algo that you can remember? And we're going to make a little list. Okay, here, I am going to write it here. Okay, imagine that we have a sentence from what? From your mother. And here I am going to write one. I'm going to do it with this one. And here. Okay. Here you have my mother. And you have this one. My mother, I am busy. How would you report that sentence? My mother said, uh -huh. well, uh, he was. He? he was. She was busy. My mother said she was busy, right? And you are reporting, right? What your mother said. Do you remember something from a person in your house that they said to you this morning? Teacher, for uh -huh. example, my boss, my boss say, don't forget to report your route every day. Okay. My boss says. Okay, here. Don't forget to report every day. Okay. Here. Now we use it like that. Okay. We have to report your route every day. Let me make it smaller because it's very big. <laughs> yeah. Se creció demasiado. Very good. For me, it's okay. I don't say. <laughs> <laughs> I just I, or you, I don't, I can see you say. Okay, see. my boss, you have to report your route every day. ¿A quién le dijo? So you say, my boss told me. Told me. Uh -huh. You can say to report. My boss told me to report my route, because you are talking about you every day, okay? My boss told me to report my route every day. And you are reporting what the person mentioned, right? My boss told me to report my route every day. And in this one, follow with this one, I am going to show you other examples, right? We need to be careful with the pronouns, right? If you have the pronoun I, it changes to he or she, right? Because you are reporting, right? If it was your mother, she. If it was your father, he. If you have the pronoun we, it changes to they, right? Oh. Say, we did it. And say so like, ah, they said, right? And you change it. When you have my, you change it to him or her, okay? She told uh, about my house, right? About her house. And you change it. Right? You change the order and the pronoun may differ from those in the original form. But how are you going to do it? And I have here some examples. Here, the present simple and the present continuous. And here I have one sentence. The first one that I have right here, and it says, I travel a lot here. Let me mark it. I travel a lot in my job. That it's the original sentence. And the reported speech you have. 
he said that he traveled a lot in his job, right? Because you are telling me what the person said in the sentence, right? In the present simple, travel changes to the past simple. He traveled, right? And in reported speech, as you have it right here, in the reported speech, you have uh, the change, right? He said that he traveled a lot to his job. What about the second example that I have here? Can you read the second example? Here. Shh. Be quiet. Mm -hmm. Be quiet, the baby's sleeping. Be quiet, the baby's sleeping, right? And on the reported form, you say, she told me to be quiet because the baby was sleeping. She told me to be quiet because the baby was sleeping, right? And the sentence was only here, be quiet, the baby is sleeping. Ah, que te dijo? Ah, she told me to be quiet because the baby was sleeping. Okay, and you have here, present continuous to past continuous. The baby is sleeping, the baby was sleeping, okay? You have present continuous to past continuous. The next one, you have, I work in Italy, right? I work in Italy. And esta fue la frase de Jorge Humberto, right? I work in Italy, he said. And say, so what did Jorge Humberto said? Ah, he told me that he works in Italy, right? He told me that he works in Italy. I have another one. We lived in China for five years, right? We lived in China for five years. And what would be the reported form? He told me they had lived in China for five years. Okay, she told me, she told me they had lived in China for five years. Okay, que habían vivido en China por cinco años. Uh, teacher, I have yeah. a question. Yep. Yeah. Uh, in that sentence, it says we live in China for five years. Mm -hmm. But how can I know if the subject is she or he? Because in this case, say we. Okay, in this case, maybe because you know that the person is who the person or who the person is. I mean, yes. if, if it was a lady or if it was a man, maybe in this case. But if you say like, we lived in China for five years, what is the best option that you have here? What this? What would be the best change that you can give to we, they, they right? And you say, they told me, okay? No. Si lo tenemos en we, y uh. no sabemos exactamente si es una mujer o un hombre el que lo está explicando. So you say, uh, imagine that you are on the phone, right? And the lady says, ah, yeah, my husband and I live in China for five years. And so like, ah, she, she told me, right? But if you are not sure, and it is on, on writing, if you have we, you can change to they. They, they told me. Okay. So for you to be clear, right? And you don't complicate in that case. And you have it here. This, the past simple tense, we live, changes to they had lived, right? In reported speech, when you are not sure or when you don't have a, a clear idea of who is talking, right? The next one, I have here the next example. I was walking down the road when I saw the accident, right? In Los Chorros. I was walking down the road when I saw the accident. And you say, he told me, he told me he had been walking down the road when he had seen the accident. This is a little bit more complicated. And in these cases, uh, it is not very common to use these very mm -hmm. difficult structures of reported speech, but it is always good for you to know, right? He told me he had been walking down the road when he had seen the accident. Why? Because you have past perfect continuous, right? You have past perfect continuous and you have past continuous, right? and you change it to past perfect continuous. That it's one of the most complicated ones and it's not really common. And the next one, because in most of the cases, and this is true, people just go from the present to the past. And that is the most common way to report, 
right? Es que yo te dije, es que yo lo vi, yo lo mandé, right? He told me he had sent it. He told me he had seen, right? Just like in normal past tense. They have always been very kind to me. So they have always been very kind to me. And in the reported speech you have, she said that they had always been very kind to her, right? In this case, it is important to change me for the person that it's speaking. If you know him or her, for sure, you are going to change it here, depending on the person that is giving the message, okay? They had already eaten when I arrived. They had already eaten when I arrived. And on the transformation, he said that they had already eaten when he had arrived, right? You know that it's a he person that it's talking in this case. But these ones are the most difficult ones. The most common one, it's from present to past. Okay, past. so don't, don't frustrate you, don't panic that you are going to be like, es que no sé si era presente continuo o, pre o pasado perfecto. No, don't worry. The most common is from present to past. And in here, I have a little chart that can be useful, right? From present simple to past simple, from present continuous to past continuous, from present perfect to past perfect, from past simple to past perfect, will changes to would and can changes to could. In the present simple, what is the sentence that you have? She always wears a coat. She always wears a coat. Teacher. Yeah. You share a um, presentation. Um, I can I can send it to you. It's because I use one for the complete unit. So it, it's a very huge it's, presentation. Oh, right? Solo aquí tengo 121 diapositivas. <laughs> It's for, the, it's for the complete <laughs> unit, but for sure, for sure, I can send it to you. It's really huge, really, really big, but if you need it, if you want, I can share it. Or I can share specific uh, information like this one, for example, so you don't have the 121 slides. Okay, so in this one you have, he said that she had, oh, that she always wore a coat, right? I am looking for my keys. She said that she was looking for her keys. This is the most common feature, right? The present continues to the past continues. I can see the, 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 the teacher. <laughs> and, the, and the glasses, where are they? Donde están los lentes, Manuel? Ahí está, ahí sí. You know, this is the most common feature on a reported speech, present continues. She told me she was coming. She told me she was uh, calling you and you didn't answer. She was texting you and you never answered. That it's the most common feature, right? Present perfect to past perfect, past simple to past perfect, and for sure will changes to would. I will finish my report in two days. Ah, he said that he will finish the report in two days. Will is also another one that it's very common. Will and would. I will do it, you say. Ah, he told me that he will do it but he hasn't done it. Okay, that's another thing, right? Promises, will and would. So that is like the most common thing. In general, the reported speech, the definition is, it refers to a sentence reporting what someone said. It's exactly what I have been explaining to you. And in all sentence, the quotation marks or the comma immediately before the first quotation are removed. <laughs> Manuel, <laughs> are removed. The next yes, word, okay. that, in some cases, is inserted after reporting the verb. And then there are certain changes to be considered, right? The verbs that we have been talking about. In here, in the, let me share the module, the module, the manual. In the manual, let me share it for you. Here. In the manual, we have some parts of reported speech, right? And you have it on page number 11, okay? Number 11. And in here, we have a short conversation as an example. If you have your book, it's on page 11, okay? On page 12, sorry. 
because on page 11 is what we did yesterday. On page 12, and we have a short conversation. Can you help me to read it, please? Number one, it's for Jesse, and the second person is Hank, right? I am going to go over first, listen to the pronunciation, listen to the conversation, and then we're going to go over it together. Hank, you won't believe this. A friend said he bought this excellent deal online. I check it and there is and there is this new laptop for only 199. I call a store and it is 900 there. I will definitely get it online, but I will use my debit card. Wait a second, that sounds suspicious. Let me take a good look at the web page before you enter your card number in there. Why hurry up or the offer will be gone before we know it. A friend said you had to make sure that the site is secure. You have to look up for a small padlock symbol in the address box. This one doesn't have it. Experts mentioned on TV that credit cards offered protection from identity thief that debit cards don't. So you better use a credit card. So in this one, what does he want to do? Buy a laptop with his uh, his debit card. He wants to buy a laptop with his debit card. And is it is it um, a good idea? No. 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 Why? He don't know about the website. Or... He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't know about the website. And what is the problem with debit cards that credit cards don't have doesn't have security or protection on those cases okay they don't have protection they are not protected on this type of cases right and here we have three different sentences on which they use reported speech what is the first sentence that they use with reported speech a friend said he bought this excellent deal online okay what will be the original sentence of the friend? What will be the original sentence? A friend. A friend. Tell me. Tell me. Remember, you say a friend. I the buy friend. an excellent deal online. Okay. I okay. In this case, it's like I buy an this excellent deal online. Okay, it can be, that's a good option, right? My friend, I, I bought in this case, right? I bought this excellent deal online. Okay, yo compré esto. And in this one, you say like a friend said, and we change only said in this case. What about this one? A friend. You what have be... to make sure uh -huh. that the site is secure. You have to make sure that the site is secure. And when you transform it, you say, a friend said, you have to make sure that the site is secure. And what about this one? Experts. Experts say. In this case, you can say mention. Experts mentioned on TV that credit cards offer protection. Okay, very good job, right? Experts mentioned on TV that credit cards offer protection from identity tips that credit cards don't. And when you report it, you say experts mentioned on TV that credit cards offered protection from identity tip that debit cards don't. So you better use a credit card. So that's the form. Right? You have the two different forms, and in these ones, you have them on reported speech already. Right? Esta es la diferencia que ya las teníamos en reported speech. Jorge and Tatiana, can you help me with the conversation? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, 
You are Jess. Jesse and Jorge is Hank. Okay. Hank, you won't believe this. A friend said he bought this excellent deal online. I checked, I checked it, and there is this new laptop for only one hundred ninety nine. One hundred ninety nine. I called a store. And it is nine hundred. <laughs> I Sorry. think we have, we have an issue with numbers. <laughs> yeah, I think um, nine hundred there. I will definitely get in online, but I will use my debit card. Wait a second. That sounds suspicious. Let me let me take a good look at the web page before you enter your card number in there. Why? Hurry up. Or the offer will be gone before we know it. A friend said you have to make sure that this site is secure. You have to look up for a small padlock symbol in the address bar. This one doesn't have it. Expert mentioned it on TV that credit cards offered, offered protection from identify if that debit card done or oh, you better use a credit card okay in this one you say identity identity experts mention on tv that credit cards offered protection from identity thief right that debit cards don't okay that was the only one that I had to check. Very good job. Thank you very much. Tatiana, give me another number and another name. And Jorge, give me another name. Eh, Manuel. <laughs> <laughs> I, I imagine. I don't know why. <laughs> Manuel. Yeah, no. no, it's because he 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 appeared in my under <laughs> in my <laughs> screen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Manuel and Diana. Okay. I don't know why I imagine. <laughs> Manuel and Diana, go ahead. Okay. Uh, Diana, you won't believe this. A friend said he bought this excellent deal online. I check I checked it. I checked it and there is the new laptop for only one uh, 199. I call a store and it is 900 9, 9000 900. 900. There, I will definitely get it online, but I will use my debit card. Wait a second, that sounds suspicious. Let me take a good look at the web, web page before you enter your card number in there. Why? Hurry up, or the offer will be gone before we know it. A friend said you have to make sure that the site is secure. You have to look up for a small padlock symbol at the address bar. This one doesn't have it. Experts mention it on TV that credit cards offer protection from identity theft that debit cards don't. So you better use a credit card. Thank you, Diana. <laughs> okay, yeah, very right. good, very good job, very good job. Now, uh, give me another name, Diana, and another name, Manuel. Uh, Anna. Anna ah, <laughs> I'm the same person. Okay, I choose another Norma. Sure. Anna and Norma, go ahead. I start. Go ahead. I am yes. Jesse. Yes. Yes. Han, you won't believe this. A friend said he bought this excellent deal online. I check it. it and there is this a new laptop for only uh, 199 i call a store and it is 900 there i will definitely get it online but i will use my debit card wait a second that sounds suspicious let me take a good look at that web page before you enter your card number in there why hurry up or the offer will be gone before we know it. 
My friend says you have to make sure that the site is secure. You have to look up uh, for a small padlock symbol in the address bar. This one doesn't have it. Expert mentioned of PV that credit card offered protection from identity theft that the debit card comes down. So you better use a credit card. Very good job. Thank you very much. Nice job. Nice job. Very good. Remember, a friend. Okay, a friend. Checked. Checked. Let me check it. Right? Checked it. And secure. Secure. Mentioned. Offered. Identity. Okay. Very good. Norma, give me another name. And Ana Raquel, give me another name. Linda. Linda and... Who else, Ana Raquel? Silvia. Silvia. Linda and Silvia. Action. Hank, you won't believe this. A friend said that he bought this excellent deal online. Checked it. And there is new laptop for only $199. I called a store and it is $900. There, I will definitely get it online, but I will use my debit card. Teacher, you're on mute. Okay, estaba diciendo que Ay. perdí a Silvia. Perdí a Silvia. Okay. Sí, mi señal. Podemos. <laughs> okay, don't worry, don't worry. Ahí la tengo de vuelta. Ahí va, ya, la tengo de vuelta. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Wait a second. Uh, wait a second. That's a uh, uh, wait a second. That sounds suspicious. Uh, suspicious. Let me take a good look at that web. Suspicious. Let me take a good look at that web page before you enter your card number in there. Why? Hurry up on the, or the offer will be gone before we know it. A friend say you had to make sure that the seat in secure. You have to look up for a small padlock symbol in the address bar. The this one doesn't have it. Experts mentioned on TV that credit card offered protection from identify theft that debit cards don't. So you better use a credit card. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Say identity. Thank you very much, girls. Very good job. Okay. Remember, right? In this case, you're like a friend said, you had to make sure that the site is secure. You have to look up for a small padlock symbol in the address bar. This one doesn't have it. Experts mention on TV that credit cards offer protection from identity thief that debit cards don't. So you better use a credit card, right? In this, in this one, remember, as you are having these interactions, like, why? Hurry up. Uh, or the offer will be gone before we know it, right? It's like, hey, push, 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 right? Let's do it right now. Mm. Wait a second. You say, that sounds suspicious, right? It's like uh, when you get like a very good offer, you say like, mm, that's very curious. I don't think it's true, right? So you say, that sounds suspicious. Let me take a good look at the web page before you enter your card number in there. So... In this case, you have to use also the correct intonation at the moment of speaking. And here we have, look at the conversation above and rewrite these sentences below. And here we have it. 
A friend tells me there is an excellent deal online. And here we have, similar to this one, how could we change this one? ¿Cómo cambiaríamos esta? Ya viendo el ejemplo que tuvimos arriba, viendo las oraciones que hemos estado viendo. A friend tells me there is an excellent deal online. A friend told me there was an excellent, this excellent deal online. Okay, a friend told me there was, it was correct, right? The one that you say, a friend told me there was an excellent or there was this excellent deal online. What about this one? A friend says you have to make sure that the site is secure. How would you change this one? Huh? Mr. Jorge, how would you change it? Um, a friend said you have to make sure that the site is secure. Very good. What about the last one? Experts say credit cards offer protection from identity thief that debit cards don't. Experts said Credit card offer protection, offer protection from identity theft that debit cards don't. Okay, and this is what you have here, right? Exactly like what you have in the notebook. Okay, so this was the change, right? And these were the messages that you had in the previous part. And here I have a short definition, right? Here you have a short definition for the affirmative forms of recorded speech. And we are going to study this a little bit. Wendy, can you help me to read the definition, please? The, to express. Yeah. To express to a third, a third person the word that Somebody has said, tell, use report speech. Reported speech, right? Reported speech. Reported speech. And in this one, I have Ana Raquel. Help me with this one. In reported speech, we express what somebody has said in our own words. In this case, we make some change to what the person has said. After the reporting verb, it is possible to use the word that. Very good. Linda Yvette, read the first examples. Expert said, credit card offer protection from identity theft that debit cards don't. Okay, very good. And the next one? Expert mentioned that credit card offered protection from identity theft that debit cards don't. Very good. Mr. Manuel, this line. Sorry, teacher. Uh, Read the line. Okay. When we use reported speech, the verb tense of the sentence is often shift back. Change, shift back is like changes, right? Shifts back. Yes. And in here, uh, Tatiana, can you read the first sentence right here? A YouTuber says, manufacturers website have important information about products online. Okay, Nelson, can you read the reported speech? Okay, a YouTuber say that manufacturer manufacturers uh, manufacturer we say uh, important information about product online. Okay, as you can see here, here you have the verb change here, and in this one that manufacturer websites have right, and we make the change on this one. The next one, let's go with um, let me see, Mario Villa, read the next one. A friend guess 
Credit cards are better option than debit cards for online shopping. Very good job. And in this one, Norma Carolina, read the last one. A friend suggested that credit cards were a better option that, than debit cards for online shopping. Very good job. So as you can see, here we have the change here, and here we have the change are for where in the second set right and these ones are the ones that we have on the platform right i send them to you on the chat what is the first answer for number one i send them to you on the chat you have the answers right there a teacher big only stores sell trust uh -huh. trust trust brands have a strong reputation very good job what about number two you have them on the chat. You can read them there. La tienen en su WhatsApp. Specialists say PayPal is more secure. Was more secure uh -huh. than debit cards. Very good job. Specialists said PayPal was more secure than debit cards. What about the next one, number three? Number three? A friend said offer that were too good. Maybe a scam. Okay, a friend said offers that are too good to be true might be a scam. A scam, it's un fiasco o algo falso. Number four. A blogger said. Uh -huh. A blogger said. Mobile phone network. Where? More secure than public Wi-Fi. Very good job. And the last one, number five. Consumers reported deals were often hidden in web pages. Very good, in web pages, right? Consumers reported deals were often hidden in web pages. Very good job. So these are the ones that we had on the platform, the ones that we started from uh, the beginning of the class, right? Here, I have this little reading right here. What we're going to do with this reading, I am going to give you a word and I need you to find it in the sentence, okay? Right now, you are going to wake up because I can see that many of you are very tired today. And this is a very hard topic, right? Yo entiendo que los temas de grammar son un poco más heavy than any other topic in life, but they are necessary in some cases. So let me move it a little bit. There you go. Here it is. Ding. No, it's too small. And I need you to, to see the complete part. Okay. Where is the word? Okay, where is the word? Y me tienen que leer la oración donde está. Okay, la oración. Where is the word afloat? Afloat. We stay afloat while maintaining the platform conflict free policy. Very good job. Where is the word subsequently? Subsequently. Man, his team won the China's market in less than five years. And eBay subsequently with them from China. Very good job, very good job. Where is the word funds? F-U-N-D-S, funds. Ma tried to raise funds in Silicon Valley. Very good job. Where is the word policy? To stay afloat. To stay. Right. Go ahead, go ahead. It's okay. Commission free policy. Where is the word facilitating? Facilitating. 
facilitating. What is it? Facilitating international trade for a small and medium. Very good job, very good. Facilitating, facilitating. The next one, zero. Charging zero commission. Charging zero commission. Government. In 1999, after leaving a government job. The next one, Alibaba. And sold them a dream to find Alibaba with the goal of facilitating international. Very good, very good, very good. Alibaba was in like in four paragraphs. Yeah. The next one, custom. Custom. Custom way pay to online merchants for a very good <laughs> custom web page to online merchants. The next one, where is the word? Early. Early in the early stage of the Alibaba. Very good, in the early stage of Alibaba. The next one, Ma. Ma, Ma tried to raise money. Very good. <laughs> you had it in many different sentences. The next one, 15. A 15 years old e-commerce company. Very good job, a 15 years old e-commerce company. The next one, 18. Yeah, 18, Ma, people, 18, people, 18 people, including himself and his wife. Very good, very good. The next one, who? The who, exactly what we started yesterday, the who or the how? In, in the dead, who in the, in the was made with Daniels. Very good, very good. The next one, multinational. Multinational e-commerce. Very good. The next one, we are going to go with cha, cha, cha. measured. Measured, but it's market capitalization. Capital. I don't know how to say that. Capitalization. 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 Okay. And the last one, unsustainable. Unsustainable. And unsustainable by many at the time. Very good job. Unsustainable by many at the time. Así, a grosso modo, ¿de qué se trata el párrafo? Just an idea of what the paragraph is about. Any idea that you that you get from what you read? El primero, como, en 1999. In general, in general, what is the idea of the reading? Is it about <laughs> websites, <laughs> creation? The creation, right? The creation, creation of an enterprise. Of enterprise. Excellent. The creation of an enterprise. This, this strategy that, that I did with you, right? Esa estrategia de agarrar como palabras al azar. It's like for you to scan the paragraph and you go and say, and you are unconsciously reading at the same time, right? You are unconsciously reading and it helps you to stay and remember some of the details. And everything happened in 1999, right? What happened in 1999? After leaving a government job, Jack Ma grouped 18 people, including himself and his wife, and sold them a dream to found Alibaba with the goal of facilitating international trade for small and medium enterprises based in China. So Alibaba, it's a site, it's an online site. 
right? In the early stages of the Alibaba, Ma tried to raise, to raise funds in Silicon Valley, the tech hub in the United States, and was met with Daniels, and his business model was criticized to be unprofitable and unsustainable by many at the time. So it was like, no, mister, and this mm -hmm. idea that you have, it's not good. Imagine if they said that to the owner of eBay or the owner of Shane, and they say, mm, maybe not. It's not that good. In 2003, still unprofitable with Alibaba, Ma and his team launched an online auction site named Taobao.com, charging zero commission and took on a multinational e-commerce giant that it's called eBay. Determined to win, Taobao remained a commission-free marketplace for millions of online traders, and that put Alibaba under significant financial strain. To stay afloat while maintaining the platform's commission-free policy, Ma and his, grand, and his team began offering value-added support services. For example, custom web pages to online merchants for a small fees. So they were actually enhancing the business. Ma and his team won the Chinese market in less than five years. And eBay subsequently withdrew from China, right? Alibaba, a 15 years old e-commerce company that has its origins outside of the United States, is now one of the world's largest company uh, as measured by its market capitalization approximately of $200 billion. So imagine what do the people that they met at the beginning think? ¿Qué creen que dicen los que le dijeron al principio? Ah, no, it's unprofitable. It's unsustainable. It's not a good idea. Te arrepiento. Yeah, they regret and they say, oh no, right? In this one, now that we have read the paragraph, we have, for example, here in this one, this was like the enter of the paragraph, but I didn't want to take it like that. So I ask you some days before, if you have bought something online before, have you ever heard about this site? ¿Ya habían oído alguna vez de este sitio web? Yes, 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 yes. Alibaba. Yes. Yes. Have you ever heard about eBay? Yes. Definitely, right? Have you ever heard about Shane? It's famous. <laughs> it's very yes. famous, right? It's, it's maybe one of the most famous places to shop online. Good, so this is the story of uh, Jack Ma, and he grouped 18 people, including himself. Now, I am going to divide the paragraph. We have one, two, three, four different parts, and I am going to ask four different members of my team to help me reading. I am going to ask, uh, let me see. I will number the paragraph first, okay? I have paragraph number one here, number two, number three, and number four. Number two is the easiest one. I am going to ask uh, Mario Villeda, Maria Elena, Maria Concepcion, and Norma Carolina. Mario, Maria Elena, Maria Concepcion, and Norma Carolina. In the order, please. In 1999, after leaving a government, a government job, Mark Mark grouped 80 people, including himself and his wife, and sold, and sold them a dream to fund Alibaba, with the goal of facilitating international trade for small and medium enterprise based in China. In, China. in the early stage of the Alibaba, Ma tried to raise funds in Silicon Valley to take up in the United States and was met with the denials. And his business model was criticized to be unprofitable 
and unsustainable by many at the time. In okay. 2003, it's still unprofitable. Unprofitable? Unprofitable. With Alibaba, Ma and his team launched an online audition site named Ocean. Ocean. Site named Taobao.com. Um, they're charging zero commission and stock um, a multinational e commerce giant eBay. Giant, giant, giant. The next one, Maria Concepcion. Determined to win to a bow remaining a commission free marketplace for millions of online traders. And that and that did that Alibaba under significant financial strain to stay afloat while managing the platform. Commission for policy um, and this team began offering value uh, able support service cost no sé cómo se pronuncia eso. Example. <laughs> Custom, custom to web page to web page to online merchant for a small. Very good. And Norma? Ma and his team won the Chinese market in less than five years. And eBay subsequently withdrew from China. Alibaba, a 15 year old e commerce company that has its origins outside of the United States. It's now one of the world's largest company has measured the, its market capitalization. Approximately? Okay. Approximately? Approximately uh, $200 billion. Okay, very good job. Thank you very much, my team, my first team. Did it, very good, very good. Right, things that we need to remember, right? You have took, giant, giant, determined, financial, maintaining, mm -hmm. value added, value added. Mm -hmm. Example, right? Example, custom web pages, custom web pages and online merchants. The next one, buy its market and approximately approximately i am going to choose other four people i am going to choose a uh, nelson please mm -hmm. nelson it's going to be the first one then i am going to ask a uh, let me see jorge that's the second one i'm not raquel and number three and linda number four Okay. Uh, number one, I mean, in, okay. In 1999. In a film. 1999. 1999. 1999. As a living, a government host, just my group, 18 people. Including? including including Smith and his, and his wife. Okay, himself, and so, himself and his wife. I sold his in his world. And so then uh during a to fall Alibaba with the goal as a facility international cover for your small and medium enterprise and base in the China. In China. China. In China, I'm sorry, in China, in the in the early start of the Alibaba, uh, my tribe, my tribe, the the rice farm in the Silicon Valley. Details are in the United States and was with me with the Daniel 
and his a business model was decreed. Uh, criticize. Criticize to be un, un profitable. Unprofitable. Unprofitable and uni, unsustainable. 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 Un, unsustainable. Uh, be many at uh, the time. By many at the time. Unsustainable by many at the time. Number two. Sorry, I was in mute. You were in mute. Go ahead. In 2003, still, still unprofitable with Alibaba, Ma and his team launched online auction site named Taobao. Taobao. Taobao.com. Taobao charging zero commission and took on a multinational e-commerce giant eBay. The next one, number three. Uh, determined to win, Taobao remained a commission-free marketplace for millions of, of online traders. And that did put Alibaba under significant financial strain. To stay afloat while maintaining the platform's commission free policy, Ma and his team began offering value add support service, uh, e.g., custom web page to only merchants for a small fees. And number four. Ma and his team won the Chinese market in less than five years, and eBay subsequently. Withdraw from China. Alibaba, uh, 15 years old, e commerce company that has its origins outside of the United States, is now one of the world's largest companies as measured, measured by its market capitalization, approximately 200 million. Very good job, very good job, my dear team. Excellent. Now, remember, remember, like words like facilitating, unprofitable, unsustainable, China, right? China, stages, business model, a zero commission, determined, financial. And in this one, for example, you don't say EG, it's, this is example, right? Example. Custom web pages to online merchants for a small fees, right? This is example, right? Example. Now, in this one, I have we have read the paragraph, and here I have four questions, right? I need you to give me the answer of the four questions. Give me the answers for these four questions that I have here according to what we read in the paragraph. What was the goal to found Alibaba? When was Tobao.com launched? How did Ma keep the commission-free policy at Tobao.com? And where did Jack Ma look for funds in the early stages of Alibaba? Which ones do you remember from the paragraph? What was the goal to found Alibaba? And I'm going to take you back to the Facility. reading. Facility. Uh -huh. Facility. Facility or facility? The international trade uh -huh. in China. To facilitate international trade mm -hmm. in China. When was Taobao.com launched? 2003. In 2003, mm -hmm. right? 2003. In 2003 or in 2003? Very good. How did Ma kept the commission-free policy at Tabao.com? By offering value-added service. Very good job. By offering value-added service, right? Here you have it. His team began offering value-added service for him to continue afloat. And the last one, where did Jack Ma look for funds in the early stages of Alibaba? Silicon Valley. In Silicon Valley, right? And here you have it, right? The first thing that he did, 
he was looking in Silicon Valley and they said, no, it is not a good idea. And then he became one of the strongest companies in uh, getting $200 million. What about this one? Here we have four different definitions that were here in the reading, right? We have four different definitions that we have them here. What do you think, what do you think international trade means? It is the exchange of capital, goods and services across international borders or territories, or the exchange of domestic goods with the boundaries of a country. Across international the borders. The first one, <laughs> it's too long to read. <laughs> the first one, the exchange of capital goods and services, right? That it's the first one. What about a tech hub? What is it? A, a company or a community? A community. community. A community. community. Innovation. For technology startup companies, right? I remember that I explained that yesterday, right? The hub, the community, it's a group of people, right? Unprofitable, a business not yielding profit or financial gain or a business or activity yielding profit or financial gain. That it's it's unprofitable. A business, a business not yielding. What is the Number. meaning of yielding? This section is called, ask your friend Google, what is the meaning of yielding? Google it, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Wow, wow, wow. What is the meaning of yielding? Flexible. Exactly, <laughs> flexible, you see? Ask your friend Google, that's the name. A business not yielding profit, right? It's not creating, not expanding, right? Not actually getting it. And the last one, commission free. A form, of, a form of payment a company chooses not to charge for its service. A form of payment a company chooses not to charge for its services, right? That it's commission. Number three, what? What is? Unprofitable. It's a business not yielding profit or financial gain, okay? Un eh, negocio que no genera, que no genera y eh, que no tiene ninguna ganancia financiera. Eso es unprofitable, no es rentable. Okay, that's the meaning of that. It's unprofitable. A tech hub, it's a community. International train is the exchange of capital goods and services across international borders, right? And commission free, it's a form of payment a company chooses not to charge for its services. Okay, so there you have the four different definitions from the reading that we just had, okay? So for this one, I'm going to go back here. Let me just go back to my presentation. Now that we went and we traveled back there in the, in the tenses of the book, here I have just a quick definitions for us to close with this, one, right? For us to keep it clear, remember we erase the quotes, we erase the comments. She said it's gold. Report it for me, please. She said it's gold. She said it was gold. She said it was gold. She, she said, said, I'm teaching English online. She said, I am teaching English online. She said, I have been on the web since 1999. She said, since 1999. She said, I have been teaching English for seven years. She said, I've been teaching English for seven years. For seven years. She said, she had been teaching English for seven years. She said, she had been teaching English for seven years. Reporting. She said, I taught online yesterday. She said, she said I taught online yesterday. Reported. 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 The second one. Reporting. And the second one. She, she said, said she had taught, taught online, online yesterday. yesterday. 
sorry. I am going to give you the present. She said, I was teaching earlier. She, she said, said she had been teaching earlier. She said, the lesson had already started when he arrived. Not changing. Okay. Okay. The lesson had already started when he arrived. <laughs> when he arrived. So in this case, it doesn't change. And in this one, I had already been teaching for five minutes. She said, for five minutes. In this case, you don't you don't change the she said because it's the normal form, right? Of the past tense. Great. So I have here other examples. She said, I will teach English online tomorrow. She said, I can teach English online. She said, I must have a computer to teach English online. She said, I have a computer to teach English online. She said, what show we learned today? She asked because she is expressing a question. That's good. And the last one, she said, may I open a new browser? She might open a new browser. Okay, if she might open, in this case, you use might to replace may, right? Here you have the two forms. These ones are... And the three forms of must, should, and may, but they are models, right? And here you have it, and here you have the change. These are special cases, right, that I wanted to show you. And in this one, how do you change the time and the place? If you have, for example, now, you say then, today, that day, here, there, this, that, that. this week, that week, tomorrow, the following day, the next day or the day after, right? These are some of the phrases that you can use for you to change, right? She said that she's going right now. She said that she was going then, right? In this moment, right? Because no, ya no está pasando en este momento. You are reporting. And here I have other ones. If you have next week, which ones can you use? The following week, the next the week. week or the week after. How can you use to replace yesterday? The previous, the previous day, day, day before. Or the day before. What about last week? The previous week, the week, week before. The day before. Ago? The previous the previous week previously, before. Before. previously or before? before? Two weeks ago? Before. Two weeks, two weeks previously, two weeks, before. 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 Two weeks before. before, tonight, that that night. Night. last Saturday, the previous Saturday, or the Saturday before. And what about the next Saturday? The following Saturday, or the next Saturday, or the Saturday after. And we have examples here. Ana Raquel, help me with the first example. I went to the theater last night. And reported, Manuel. He said he had gone to the theater the night before. Very good, right? I went to the theater last night. Ah, he said he had gone to the theater the night before. Maria Concepcion, give me the example. And Nelson, you report. I'm staying here until next week. Nelson, you say, sorry, sorry. Okay. He said, he said, he was staying the, you need the following week. Following week. He said he was staying yes. there until the following week. I have the next one. Uh, for the pronouns, in honor of the runner, Mr. Jorge, can you read that sentence? I run five kilometers every day, said she. Said she. Diana, can you report that using Jorge? He said she ran five kilometers every day. He said, he <laughs> ran. He said he ran, right? 
He said he ran five kilometers every day because we are talking about Mr. Jorge Humberto. In this one, we can also change some demonstratives with these to that and these to those. For example, I like. she said, I like this shirt. She said she liked that shirt, right? You can also change the demonstratives. And in the last one, here we have, we use ask to report questions and told to report with an object. When you say, she told me, she told you, she told her, okay? So in this case, when you use told, you use an object of the sentence, right? Line told me, line told her, okay? That's important. And you use ask to report question. I ask Lynn what time the lesson started, right? I ask, yo le pregunté, to report questions. And Did we you... are going to, yes? Don't, for, don't forget the, call the attendance. Hey, for sure. <laughs> Manuel said, Manuel said, don't forget to call the attendance. Or Manuel, remind the teacher about the attendance. Report it. <laughs> okay, good. Before we go, I am going to call the attendance again. Okay, very good job. Manuel, remind the teacher about the attendance. Let's go. Ana Raquel? Present teacher. Thank you very much. Eh, Carlos Antonio. Present. Claudia Maria. Claudia Maria. Claudia Maria, la perdimos. Eh, Diana Elizabeth. Here, teacher. Jorge Humberto. Present teacher. Jose Jonathan. Present Miss. Eh, Jose Rodrigo. Juan Carlos Rivas. Eh, Juan de Dios Mejía. Linda Ivette Márquez. Present teacher. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present teacher. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. Present. María Ernesto. Present teacher. Nelson Gabarrete. Present teacher. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Olga Marlene. La perdimos. Man, perdimos a Olga. Eh, Silvia Suleima. Ah, no, she, she sent me a message. Silvia Suleima. And we go with Tatiana Michelle. Present teacher. Wendy Maribel. Teacher. Very good job. Okay, remember the one-on-one -on -one for today is for Mr. Jorge Humberto, okay? We are going to stay for some minutes at the end of the class. And let me see, present, says Silvia. Good. To finish with the last thing that I have here on the presentation, right? Thank you, Manuel. We have the attendance already. Here I have... There are many other verbs that we can also use at the moment of reporting, right? There are many other verbs. For example, you say accused, admitted, advised, alleg, agreed, apologize, beg, boosted, complain, denied, explain, implied, invited, offered, order, promised, replied, suggested, and thought. So you say, oh. ah, she thought that we were not here anymore, right? And you can report there. Do you know the meaning of all the verbs that I included here? Do you know the meaning of all these verbs that I have presented? Beg. 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 It's like, please, 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 please. I beg you. Beg is like, beg is rogar. Boosted. Boosted. Okay, boosted. Boosted. What is the meaning of boosted? It is like when you over talk about it, like, ah, se llenó la boca, right? Decía los cuatro vientos, right? She boasted about everything. What about the next one? Do you know the meaning of denied? Denegar. 
denied, right? Alleg is the same as in Spanish, right? Alegar. Alleg. It's like, no, I told you that I was there. Like she alleged about the problem, right? Alleg. Admitted is the same, right? That's in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Accused. I saw Jorge. I say, huh? The teacher accused Jorge of Jorge. making the problem, right? Agreed. The students agreed on the new activity, right? Apologize. I'm very sorry. Apologize. Okay. Complain. It's like, you know, I bought this one in $7 and I found it on the market in $2. Give me my money back. Complain. Quejarse, right? Implied, it's the same as in Spanish, right? Implicar. Offered, order, promised. I am going to give you the money tomorrow. She promised she was going to give me the money tomorrow, but she didn't do it, right? Replied is to answer. Suggested, sugerir, and thought, pensar, right? I thought I was going to do it, okay? So these are other verbs and other forms that you can use at the moment of report. Oof, this was a very long grammar day, but it is over. I hope that you understood the topic, right? The teacher said that she hopes that you had understood the topic. It's a very complicated thing, but with a little bit of digging and investigating, it is easy, right? I always invite you, okay? Siempre los invito. Si vemos un tema, hay que investigar un poco más. Hay que ir a leer un poco más, siempre. Si hayamos ejercicios, let's do it. Hagámoslos y compartamos, right? Encontré esta página de, para ejercicios de práctica and we can share it, okay? It is always welcome and it is always necessary. Okay, my dear students, I am going to see you tomorrow for another class. I hope you have a beautiful night. Go and rest because I know you are very tired, okay? Have a great night and I'm going to see you tomorrow for another class. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Have a beautiful night. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye bye bye. Yeah, don't go. Don't go. <laughs> I am going to grab you there on the ear. Okay. Bye, Silvia. Bye, Carlos. Have a good night. Okay. Bye, Silvita. Silvia is going to stay in the one on one <laughs> and Carlitos. <laughs> okay, Jorge, very good. So, we're going to stay for a couple of minutes then and talk a little bit about your progress. How do you feel? How have you improved? How do you feel that you are using what you are learning? In which cases uh, do you use it? Uh, I'm not sure, teacher. I think uh, I'm in the in the same place. <laughs> <laughs> you are in the same place. Do you feel that you haven't that you have not advanced that much? I I don't I, I believe or I suppose I don't have a, a progress. Uh-huh. Because I, I I know I have to study more than the, the class, but uh, because the the work is right now uh, very demanding 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 uh, i can uh, study more than the, the class okay i i know i have problem like i said before with the connection words and the the past tense i i I always forgot. You always forget. <laughs> okay. In this case, remember, as you have a, like always, usually, and everything, those are adverbs of frequency. You use a normal verb after this one. You say, I always forget. I always remember, right? So those are the things that you need to, to improve more. Do you use the language in any case during the day at your work? Just a little bit, maybe. Uh -huh. Because that's another issue, right? That as you are not practicing in the real life, it can be quite challenging to see it in progress, right? 
yesterday I was talking to Diana and she told me that she was challenged because she is in this English environment every day and she That's has to terrible. talk. And she tells me, I don't do it because I feel nervous and she's very good. <laughs> and she has the opportunity to, to practice it, right? But maybe in this case, as you don't have like a lot of practice at the moment, Maybe that's that's why you say like, hey, but I, I, I don't have a moment to to use everything that I am practicing, learning, etc. Right. But do you have, for example, a international friends that you can talk to? Or friends mm. from other countries that speak the language? Yes, I have a couple of friends. But now I imagine that what you don't have is time. <laughs> that that can be like the biggest problem okay and what do you like to do whenever you have free time to run to run okay what do you listen while you run i don't listen music ah. when i run why because uh, maybe it could be a problem because you have to be focused on on, on the, the road right the road and on the mountain maybe okay yeah that's important right i was going to ask you the same it's like where do you run because yeah imagine if you are like cuidado muchacho cuidado and you are going to be listening to something that that's kind of difficult i don't hear a dog that <laughs> that it's barking <laughs> behind you right so but whenever you have the chance to run for example in a park or in a place in a closed circuit uh, i when would recommend uh -huh. when i'm driving i try to listen music or in english always okay. Okay. Do you like to use, for example, do you like videos? Do you like to watch videos? Uh, yes, I, I, I try to to watch uh, Netflix with with the voice in English uh -huh. and the, the and the subtitles. The subtitles in, in English. English too. Okay, that's good. That is something very good. There are some very good things that you can also use. I don't really know if you like them, but I will recommend them to you to use TED Talks. Have you heard about them, TED Talks? No? no. They are like little talks, right? Son pequeñas charlas de 10 minutos de diferentes temas. So as you say that you, have, you are like kind of stuck on the learning, this can boost you a little bit on practicing the past tense on the listening and also to get more vocabulary. The TED Talks are about any topic that you can imagine, right? Pueden ser eh, de inspiración, de motivación, de ejemplos de vida, de ejemplos de, de superación, etc. And they are only 10 minutes, but they are in English. And for sure in there, as they are sharing stories, you can practice a lot of past tense through listening. Mm -hmm. That can be a very good help. Could be. I was thinking about if I I, I don't know if exists a group a group like WhatsApp maybe where people can talk in English at every all the time. Uh, all the time. <laughs> it's like practice your English here. You know. I, if there, if it doesn't exist, you are giving me a very good idea of business. <laughs> yeah, indeed, because you need to practice, right? And there are like different places. In, in YouTube, for example, uh, maybe it's not for you to speak, but there are like online uh, channels that are 24 seven, right? And they are, for example, conversations. 24 seven conversations and you are listening to different questions, conversations and answers. And but it is better if you can talk. If you can interact with a person, right? That's a very good thing. If you don't have it, if you don't find it, I am going to look for something. And if I find any, I am going to let you know because that's important, right? Even to yeah. chat, right? To chat with someone or to- In the example of 
today I was thinking how to say that the little the the, the little lady mm -hmm. uh, want to to give a, a gift for the birthday. Okay, the little lady wanted in that case you say, what do you want to say? Ah, the girl wanted to give a gift to her yeah. father. She wanted to give a gift to her father, right? In that case, in not, not in all the cases, you are going to be changing all the verbs in the reported speech, but the introduction, it's always very important, right? She told me, she asked me, she remembered that, okay? And then you can express the complete idea. And in some cases, you change only the beginning. Okay. Casi siempre en el reported speech, lo más común que sucede ya en una interacción normal en el idioma inglés, por ejemplo, me dice, eh, usted me dice, eh, le voy a recomendar esta película. So you say, ah, Jorge told me that he was going to recommend me a movie. O oh, Jorge recommended me a, a very good movie. Jorge told me about a very good movie. Right. And that's the way you do it. It's like, solo como contamos lo que pasó. He told me, he recommended me, he asked me, and then you ask the question or the sentence, right? So tomorrow I am going to bring you exercises. Mañana vamos a hacer ejercicios de transformación. Así que va a ser una muy buena práctica. Hoy vimos toda la gramática y la teoría. Mañana hacemos ejercicios de transformación para que ya sea un poco más on the topic, okay? So very good idea. Okay. Thank you, Jorge, for staying with me in these last minutes. Thank you for the great ideas that you gave me. <laughs> That's a very yeah. good idea for a business. If, if you reach the idea, you can. Yeah, you please. will be the first one. <laughs> you will be the first one to let to that I will let you know <laughs> about the, the conversation exchange. Yeah, could be That's a, a good thing. Very good. Thank you, Jorge. Have a beautiful night. I hope you rest a lot and I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. See you. Bye bye. Bye. Take care.